hi everyone welcome to your channel in this video i am going to show you how you can do agentic rag with this newly released llama 3.0 models quite easily on your local systems i will be using haystack which is one of the most commonly used llm orchestration framework that lets you do retrieval augmented generation quite easily on your own documents or data sets i already have covered haystack a lot on my channel so if you're interested in knowing more about it please search the channel and you should be able to find plenty on it llama 3.2 one of the most performant model release in the recent months i would say from meta and i already have covered all of the models in this series from llama 3.21 billion to 3 billion and 11 billion to 90 billion both text and vision on the channel and i believe i already have done around 10 videos on it so please search the channel and i'm more than sure you are going to enjoy it for the purpose of this video i'm not going to go into the architectural or any details of this llama 3.2 model because i have already covered it in great detail uh, i think it is enough to say that these are one of the best models out there both in a multilingual and multi-modality so in this video i'm just going to focus on a rag before i do that let me give a huge thanks to mass compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video they are also running a hacktuber this month in uh, next month in october and i will be one of the judge so if you want to win free compute credits all you need to do is to create something real cool in text with llms or any image sort of things with llm or any video or both and submit it to them from this website and i will drop the link to it in video description i also have done a detailed video on it uh, on this hacktober 2024 so please cite the channel and you should be able to find it so highly recommend it i think you're going to enjoy it and there's a lot of detail there uh, very interesting so let me take you to my local system where i'm running ubuntu 22.04 and i have one gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gp of vram let me clear the screen first up let's create a virtual environment with conda i'm just going to call it ag let's wait for it to get created shouldn't take too long so what we are going to do here is we are going to do rag or agentic rag with the help of this llama 3.2 and i'm going to use a 3 billion text model with it when we say agentic rag it means that providing the llm context from your own documents and if llm is unable to find the data within your llm llm will use agents to search it on the web or from any other resource you specify so we are going to provide it our own data set and then if it would be unable to find that information we want from that data set it is going to search it in the um, web with the help of a DuckDuckGo browser so this is uh, this is going to use both agents plus a rag so agentic rag and that's that is one of the hallmark of this llama 3.2 model even in the 3 billion size okay so now you know what is this let's install some of the prerequisites which include a lot of stuff like torch transformers and make sure you're installing the latest version of torch let's wait for it to get installed should it take too long other than two minutes okay next up let's install haystack and i'm also installing the co api with haystack so let's wait for it to finish installing that is done next up let's log into hugging face with this hugging face cli and you would need a free token from huggingface.co in order to log in here because we'll be using this llama 3.2 model which is a gated model which means that you would need to go to the hugging face website or their llama's own website and accept the terms and condition so you see that now i am uh, logged into hugging face next up let's launch our jupyter notebook so that we would play around with this model and this whole rag pipeline with the help of our notebook let's wait for it to get launched okay so my notebook is launched now let's import the libraries which we have installed and let's create a rag pipeline so let's first try to understand what we are doing again so we are doing rag 
rag means retrieval augmented generation and we are building a pipeline what happens in a rag pipeline is that you provide it your own documents or data that data could be pdf format text format or any other format first that data is divided into small chunks or parts those parts of data are converted into numerical representation those numerical representation are also called as embedding these embeddings get stored into a vector store or embedding store which is a database from there an index is created and then whenever a user makes a query a similarity search is run through an index and results which are similar to the user's query are returned and then these get augmented with the user's query and this augmented query with the search results are given to LLM and that is how LLM gets more uh, context around user's query. So that is what it is happening here. And in this case, if LLM is unable to find a similar results from the vector store, it will use its agents or tool and then it is going to run a web search. That is what we are trying to do here. So first we are importing this stuff from Haystack and Haystack's beauty is that it abstracts a lot of this information. We don't have to worry about that much. For example, it is creating this vector store in the memory. And then this is the data set as a test, which we are using. I just got it from their GitHub repo. And then you can also go to Haystack's GitHub repo and copy paste these commands. And these are the, this is the embedding model. We are using all mini LM, very lightweight model. And then we are storing of uh, this data sets document just few of them into this in memory store that is all it is doing here in a very very simple way so let me run it and you can see that the pipeline is running it is getting the document uh, embedding document and i think it is already done yes so you see it's already done so our data set is ready now let's load our model which is llama 3.23 billion instruct you can even go with 1 billion if you like and we are using haystacks hugging face load generator so it is basically going to use the transformer library in order to download it so let me do it and the model is being downloaded so let's wait for it to get downloaded and load onto our gpu there are two shards of it should it take too long and the model is downloaded now just to do the inference with the model all you need to do is to supply this prompt which is the prompt template for this model which is llama 3.2 with some beginning of text and end of header id and then when you once you run it like i'm asking it what is the capital of australia and it has given me the response the capital of australia is canberra so model works and now let's start building the rag pipeline with haystack and as I mentioned earlier, the good thing about Haystack is that not only it abstracts a lot of details, it provides you these components for embedding, for retrieving and for in-memory vector store, which we already have done. So for instance, once you run it, it has initialized all the components which are pre-built. And then now you can uh, define your own prompt template for your rag as per your own use case. For instance, the haystack recommends this. So for example, we are just importing the prompt builder and we here we are just saying it that, okay, so when the user asks this, that then answer the following query given the documents. If the answer is not contained within the documents, reply with no answer. If the answer is contained within the document, start with the answer, like from the knowledge base. And then these are the documents which we will provide and the query of the user. So this is simply a prompt builder from Haystack and I would highly suggest that you use the same uh, format and because we are using conditioning here so we have to define the conditional router from Haystack that okay if no answer do this if uh, answer then do this and if you want to learn more about these conditional routers and stuff and all the components please search my channel I already have done few videos around it. So this primarily defines our uh, rag pipeline with the components it's quite simple actually and now for the genetic one let's define our DuckDuckGo api from haystack and we are just going DuckDuckGo is open source browser by the way and we are just defining the web search here okay so that is done and for example if you want to test how this works you can simply run this so we are running web search query where is australia retrieving the documents and the links 
and then once you run it it is going to print the results that this is australia and these are the search results how good is that doctor go by the way it's all command line and you can embed it in any of your applications and just like we defined the prompt template for rag pipeline similarly haystack enables you to define the prompt template for web search too it's a similar thing but instead of the uh, rag pipeline we are just going with the query from the web so let's build the prompt builder with this one that's done and now you can niche together or assemble the rag pipeline with haystack and this is how you do it this looks a bit scary but trust me it's not all we are doing it we are importing the haystack components and pipeline this is where we are starting our pipeline and then all we are doing it in order we are adding the component if you remember what i told you early on uh, around the rag pipeline first we convert the text into embeddings or numerical representation that is why we are adding component embedder then we retrieve the results we build the prompt we specify our llm then the conditional router whether it is it has found the result or not web search if it if it hasn't found and then prompt builder after the web search and once you have added the component in the same order connect them in the same uh, way like text embedder retriever then retriever prompt builder then prompt builder joiner joiner llm so one by one one by one it is sort of like a chain in the pipe so let's run it and that is done so everything is now connected together in a pipeline and the beauty of this is that now you can even display it so if you just do pipe dot show look at this so this is how it works first your text comes it converts it into numerical representation or embedding and then the query is retrieved from the vector store and then documents are given prompt is built and then everything is joined llm is approach with the augmented query and then reply comes if it found all good if not then the web search is done and then links and everything is returned and then prompt is built after the web search how good is that isn't it okay so that's said and done let's see how this pipeline works in action for that let me put a query here. first let's define this simple um, function get answer which is running the pipeline and then with our query and prompt so let's define it and now let me run it so let's the query is why did people build great pyramid of giza and so just run it it is running the batches going through the pipeline and there you go so it has returned the answer from knowledge base now let's try it another one let's ask it uh who is sorry who is Fahad Mirza? I'm sure that is not in that data set. There you go. Let's see what it does here. It is searching the whole data set. That is why it is. So you see, it is from the date. It is saying from the word Fahad Mirza is Pakistani actor. Okay, so that's not me. Maybe I'll just give it more hint. The AI YouTuber. Let's see what it does. And it is all now. It has searched it, couldn't found, and then there you go. So this is me. Amazing stuff. So you see, this is how you can do the agentic rag with just 3 billion parameter model with this haystack. Everything end to end. And if you really think about it, this is a production grade stuff. So really hats off to haystack. They have just uh, done a wonderful job, you know, providing us all this abstraction around uh, retrieval, you know, embedding, retrieval and all that stuff. And of course, hats goes, goes off to Llama 3.2 because if you would be doing the same stuff with the previous Llama models or any other model, including Mistral or I tried it out with Zephyr some time ago, the result was not as good as this one as you have just seen in the notebook and don't worry about uh, this notebook i will drop the link to it in video description play around with it let me know what you think if you like the content do me a favor and subscribe to the channel if you are already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching